Hi, I'm Chris Murray, a professional soccer player at the Wilmington Hammerheads, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to curve a soccer ball downward. The materials needed to be able to curve a ball downward are a pair of soccer cleats, a soccer ball, an open area, and a soccer goal. In soccer, there's many different ways that you can strike a ball. And there's also many different parts of the foot you can strike the ball with. Being able to strike the ball with every part of your foot will give you a step up on your competition. Being able to use the outside of your foot will enable the ball to curve one way, the inside of your foot another way, and with your laces it will get the ball to curve downward. The first thing that you need to do to be able to curve the ball downward is tee the ball up nice and high on a piece of grass. By teeing up the ball nice and high, you'll be able to get your laces, which is the top part of your foot underneath the ball, being able to create a forward spin on it, making it dip down or bend, bend downward. The next thing that you need to know in being able to curve the ball downward is your approach to the ball. If your approach isn't right to the ball, you're not going to be able to get the right part of your foot on the ball, causing it to dip or curve downward. The third thing that you need to know is that you need to strike completely through the ball to get it to move in this way. By striking completely through the ball will give you enough power on it to get it to do that dip. By being able to curve the ball downward really causes trouble for an opposing goalkeeper. As the ball is coming towards the goalkeeper, it could be traveling at one plane through the air and then dip down at the last minute. And this could cause a lot of problems for the goalkeeper. And those are just some tips on how to curve a ball downward in soccer.